the climate crisis, which you have chosen as the theme this year, uh, is the, the preeminent challenge of our time. It is worth noting um, that there are linkages between the COVID-19 crisis uh, and the larger climate crisis. Uh, we are seeing in the United States a direct correlation uh, between the higher levels of fossil fuel air pollution uh, and a higher death rate from COVID-19. Uh, you have seen that uh, in the UK as well. Uh, we know that uh, minority groups all around the world, communities of color, uh, low income uh, uh, communities, they are far more likely to live downwind from the smokestacks uh, and downstream from the hazardous waste flows. So this uh, crisis reveals some of the weaknesses and inequities in our civilization that must be uh, addressed as we come out of this crisis. The Nobel laureate also highlights some stark differences between these twin crises. The consequences of this pandemic uh, may last uh, six, eight, 12 months, uh, one year, two years, three years, but the consequences of the climate crisis will last for centuries. And it's literally unbearable to me and so many hundreds of millions of others to imagine the generation represented by these students and other generations to follow, who at some point in their lives, if we do not succeed in, uh, in facing this climate crisis, uh, would have the opportunity to look back at us in this year 2020 and ask, how in God's name could you have not reacted? How could you have ignored uh, the warnings of the scientists? How could you have ignored Mother Nature, who is now screaming at you? Uh, with these extreme uh, climate-related events that are almost impossible to, to misinterpret. So um, that is a, a clear difference. Here is a final difference. Uh, I'm sure there are more. Uh, but whereas large parts of the global economy have been shut down in order to conquer uh, this virus and are now haltingly reopening, uh, we don't have to shut down economic activity in order to solve the climate crisis. Uh, we are in the early stages of a sustainability revolution. This sustainability revolution will have the magnitude of the industrial revolution, yet the speed of the digital revolution. This is the greatest opportunity to create new jobs in the history of the world. Already here in the United States, for the last five years, the fastest growing job has been solar installer. The second fastest growing job is wind turbine a technician. Uh, as this pandemic is eventually conquered, we need to take advantage of these unparalleled opportunities. We have the ability to rise above our limitations. We have done it in meeting crises in the past, and we have the ability to do it now. Always remember that the will to change is itself a renewable resource.